need to get away. We don't need no strength. Hey everyone, it's D here. Welcome back to another reaction video. And it is about time, guys. This is the beginner's guide to Twice by Cody and Wyatt. And um, there's still so much information that I don't have about Twice, and I'm still learning. And I love it. You know, I love knowing that throughout this journey, I'm going to learn something new every single time about the girls. And um, I get this opportunity to get to know them better. So I'm excited, guys. And of course, if you want more content, if you need more content, or if you'd like to help support this channel, please consider swinging by my Patreon. Uh, we just wrapped up episode 3 of 16 crazy so far absolutely crazy um seasonal lights we're almost we're just a little over halfway done and it's been a journey and i love it and i'm so excited thank you all for joining me on this journey and without further ado let's get into it okay bless you <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what an intro Twice. <laughs> Here's a math problem for you. 16 women compete on a reality show for seven spots in one girl group. In the end, nine women are chosen to form the group. Is this group's name 16, Spoiler. seven, or nine? <laughs> Trick question. It's twice. The group's name is twice. Try not to overthink it. In fact, there's a lot about twice that you shouldn't overthink. Why are they called twice? Are they in love with an alien? Are they in love with each other? Are they possibly dead and or ghosts? It doesn't matter. So many it's questions. Pop, and twice so many questions. In the power of pop. Their infectious commitment to pop music in all its forms has made them the highest selling K-pop girl group ever. Ever. Come on now. Read my lips. Twice's story begins I love this in 2015 when they debuted so good. the JYP Entertainment Company. Twice was formed on a survival TV show. Kind of like The Voice, but they made a group instead of a solo artist. You get it. On the reality show 16, nine JYP Entertainment trainees were voted off until just seven remained. Then, in a shocking and controversial turn of events, two eliminated contestants were saved and added back into the winning group. These nine women became known as Twice. Spoilers on spoilers on spoilers, <laughs> but what was really crazy about that is I already kind of knew what happened. I, I heard, I, I know background on it, and literally when they said that, that they made a mistake and they added two more members into the group, I got chills. I literally just got chills from my neck down to my spine when they said that, because that is, they just wouldn't be the same without the nine members that they have today. It just wouldn't be the same, and... Ah, man. Whew. By the way, Twice is called Twice because they will charm you twice. Once with their beauty and once with their catchy music. It barely makes any sense, but it definitely makes more sense than our first theory, which was that the members were grouped into pairs based on their talents. But that leaves one member out. The leader, Gio. Okay. <laughs> Twice got some early attention because A, their reality show aired on a major Korean TV channel, and B, JYP Entertainment was already famous for producing hugely successful K-pop girl groups. Anybody ever hear of The Wonder Girls? Oh, how about Miss A? These are huge shoes to fill, people. If you're American and you're watching this video, and our channel analytics say that you probably are, then the idea of a nine-member group is probably intimidating to you. Historically, American pop has never focused on a large boy or girl group. Five is as big as we go in the States. Anything beyond that is just American Idol on the Pop Tarts tour. There's definitely a learning curve when it comes to large groups. So, so we're gonna help put names to faces as NCT we break down was who's crazy. Nyon is the oldest member of Twice. She is known as the face of the group because of her Come on, Nyon. her wide range of talents, and her extremely outgoing personality. Nyon sings most of Twice's choruses, starts most of Twice's songs, and generally sums up what Twice is all about. We love Nyon because she's a nut. <laughs> It seems like almost everything Nyon does subverts the normal expectations for female K-pop idols. And it's really awesome! Awesome. We love you, Nyon. <laughs> and that's awesome. We love you. Nyon is a woman who makes decisions. She decides what to wear, she decides what to say, and she doesn't let anyone put her in a box. 
Jungyeon is the girl Jungyeon. crush of Twice that broke the mold. Until recently, fans could easily describe Jungyeon as the one with the short hair. This was not an accident. Mm. Most images in pop music are premeditated, and Jungyeon's role as the tomboy of Twice was chosen for her. <laughs> But after years of playing her part, Jungyeon took control of oh. her self-image. Jungyeon has proved yes. that there's room for authenticity in the public eye. She has always been brave enough to speak up and share the truth with her fans and her fellow members. Momo is the main dancer in TWICE. Sure, they all dance, but Momo's abilities are... special. <laughs> Momo has been nicknamed the dancing level. machine because of her insane ability to learn any choreography faster than you can say Pink Lamborghini. Pink Lamborghini. Seriously, it's like hey. she's programmed to do it. We love Momo because she's pretty much like a human sim. She always seems to be one step behind every single situation and it's the most relatable thing ever. Momo is one of three Japanese members in TWICE. Sana is Sana. the cutest member of TWICE. Actually, she may just be the cutest human alive, I don't know. Sana's innocent charm and Disney princess disposition have captured the general public's attention more times than she said the phrase shy shy shy. shy, shy, shy. <laughs> that was a viral line of Sana's that was in TWICE's song, Cheer Up. To this day, it is the most yeah. famous bit of TWICE's charm, and it has been imitated countless times. It's easy for us jaded adults to assume that Sana's happy-go-lucky personality is a part of her manufactured public image. But if you stick with TWICE, you will see that this woman's sunshiny view on life exists both on camera and in struggle. <laughs> Gio is the leader Gio. of TWICE. If Nyon is the face of the group, Gio is the voice. This means she usually speaks for the group in press events. But Gio also has the strongest voice in the group and hits just about every big note they have. For example, Oh yeah! Oh yeah! After 16, the members unanimously voted Gio as their leader because of her skills and her uniquely long period of training. We love Gio because she cares. She cares whether or not the staff members are treated as fairly as the stars. And she cares for her fellow members. Let's be honest, we need more Gios in the world. We love you, Gio. Nina. Nina might just be the most introverted idol in all of K-pop. Mm. <laughs> Before TWICE, Mina trained as a ballerina for 11 years. Which explains her nickname, Black Swan. Oh, wow, 11 we love years. Mina because she embodies elegance. From the way she speaks, oh, thank you. to the way she sings, to the way she walks and dances. It's mm. clear that Mina was a queen in a past life. Dayan is well known for many things. Her viral eagle dance, her camera yes. spotting ability, her piano playing, her rapping I saw that. skill. I saw that for the first time on 16 and man, after watching 16 and just seeing Dayan being Dayan, I'm in love, man. I love that authenticity. I love that this is who I am. I'm going to show the world who I am type of vibe and it is so good. I love it. And her superhuman ability to change her hair color at any time without warning. <laughs> what binds all these traits together is a completely unique sense of humor. One that can make Twice laugh quicker than anything. <laughs> oh, that's Jonghyun. That's Jonghyun's. Oh, 16. We love that's Dian good. Because that's of good. Her individuality. There is no one that thinks like her, acts like her, or dances like her. She is, in one word, irreplaceable. You're irreplaceable. To the left, to the left. Higher. To the left, to the left. Cheyong is the textbook definition of a renaissance woman. She raps, she sings, she dances, she paints, she draws, she writes poetry. And has Chaeyoung. penned the most lyrics for Twice songs out of any member. We love oh. Cheyong because she is fearless. One second she's spitting bars, the next she's painting. Oh wait, now she's vlogging! She's not afraid to express herself and to try something new. Especially yeah. when it comes to being a gosh darn fashionista! Chewie is the ultimate dichotomy in TWICE. She is the youngest member of the group, or the Maknae, which usually means she would be sweet and helpful. However, Chewie has the nickname Evil Maknae because... Oh. Uh, good sit. Oh. This is something I didn't know. <laughs>
fish is crazy. We love Chewy because she's a woman of contradictions. She could have easily hidden behind her good looks her entire career because people really care about her beauty. But Chewy has said that she would like to become well known for her talents instead. Watching Chewy grow from a timid teenager tossed into fame to a confident performer and teammate is the most inspiring transformation mm. in Twice. And look out when she is performing Dance the Night Away. She will hurt you. <sighs> So now you've met each member of TWICE. Now let's talk about how they went from here to here. TWICE hit it big with their second single, Cheer Up. Cheer Up was bigger than a hit. Iconic, a baby, iconic. It was so big that it catapulted TWICE to the title of Korea's national girl group. This oh, wow. title was previously given to Girls' Generation, AKA the best-selling group of the previous K-pop generation, Tiffany. Y'all heard a tiff? From there, everything TWICE touched turned to gold. And by gold, I mean number one hits, baby, Deal breakers. They sparked viral dance Let's trends, get it. Let's get it. crossed over into the Japanese market, and won Song of the Year at the Mnet Asian Music Awards three years in a row, which secured their place in K-pop history in less time than it took me to graduate from college. They're icons, baby. At its core, the most universal pop music doesn't overthink things. It is instinctual, performance-based, and tons of fun. Twice's hyper-feminine concepts have dominated the marketplace for almost four years because they are ambitious, relatable, and fun. However, Twice's cultural impact is often limited to nothing more than the term cutesy. And there's no denying it, they are very cute, yes. But Twice's story does not begin or end with being cute. Hmm. Bottom line is this, being hyper-feminine is not shameful. It is just as valid as other forms of expression. Let's sum it up this way. To listen to Twice's music is to follow the story of a woman growing up and retaining her childlike passion. She hopes to find love and then falls for someone that breaks her heart. Afterwards, she takes control of her own story. No more waiting around for an answer. Twice have already chosen the ending to their story. Well said, well said, well said. Thank you so much for making that video for my group. It is so nice of you. Um, don't touch my hair. <laughs> it is so nice of you guys to do that. That was all really sweet and all. Um, but you got everything wrong. Okay, what's true? Here's the truth. Twice as great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. Please well donate done, to boys. the fun because it takes well a long done. time to make these videos. And I'm gonna grab something. Okay. So now for our ending song, we do have a special guest. Come on out. Aww. <laughs> I heard that you stand twice and you wanted to know more about each member. Well, I made this video for you to find out about each member just a little bit more. Well, we've got Nyan and there's Mina Yun and Jung Yun, Chewy, Jay Young, and we got Dion, and that's all the members except for Sana. Sorry, we forgot you, Sana. Never mind, I'll just stand twice. I wish nothing but the best for twice. Don't forget me to buy a physical copy of the album so they bye bye. make enough money mm -hmm. to pay for a snack. For a snack? Okay. <laughs> but for real though, straight from the top. Okay. Oh. Stream candy pop. Nice job, boys. Cody and Wyatt coming out with the fire on this one. Um, I really enjoyed that. That was a completely different way of presenting a guide. And they made it very interactive. They made it really easy to follow along and listen to. And uh, shout out to Cody and Wyatt for making this guide. Definitely 
a lot of information on there and and some spoilers i gotta warn you guys it's too late because we're already done the video but spoilers on spoilers and if you don't know um man Man, oh man, I, I'm so excited because we're getting closer and closer and closer to the later episodes in 16 and there are going to be some shockers in there and I I did know, actually I didn't know, I didn't know that it was only 7 and then they brought back 2, I didn't know that. Um, I didn't really look carefully either on who the two were so I don't know who were the two were the, the two that were eliminated and brought back. And I'm just excited to get to that point because I, I think that's iconic, guys, because twice just wouldn't be twice without all nine members. You know, every single member brings something special and something unique to the group. And I, it would have been crazy to think that twice is a seven member group and not a nine. And uh, I'm just excited to get down there and uh, to continue this journey with y'all, all of you. So that is going to be it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that video and my reaction to that video. Until next time, love you all. Peace.